four habits that are keeping you stuck in the 3D and preventing you from feeling light and spiritual and true to yourself and connected to all that is connected to the universe, to God, to all of source. If you're feeling frustrated and stuck and like you can't just ascend and feel spiritual and light all the time, I totally get you and I've been there and I still go there sometimes. Where one day you feel light and happy and connected and the next day you just feel so dense and so unattached and so stuck and unclear. So in this video, let's talk about four habits that you can do that will help you ascend and change that you're feeling more connected and light all the time. And make sure you stick until the end because I saved the best for last. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the things that we're consuming. And I don't mean our food and drink and all of that, but more so what is the content, what is the media that you're consuming on a daily basis? Not only is it putting a lot of outward negativity into our mind and even into our subconscious, but there are also a lot of subliminal sounds and messages that we can't even like consciously hear that are seeping into our subconscious from them. Like things that we can't even pick up that are seeping in. And look, like I get it. I have a degree in journalism. I used to be a huge news person. But once I completely, I mean completely cut off paying attention to the news, I can tell you without a doubt, my life improved drastically. Along with the news, I want you to monitor the different things that you're watching, whether it's TV, movies, podcasts, whatever it may be, and pay attention to how it makes you feel. Like, are you someone that watches a lot of crime, a lot of murderous movies, a lot of apocalyptic things, you know, stuff like that that's really dark and draining? Are you listening to a lot of music that talks about very low value things? And we all know what I'm talking about. If you're listening to those things, it is doing a lot more damage than you even realize. When I dove in and looked at the frequency of music, and I'm not just talking about like the beat that we hear, but the underlying frequencies, I was shocked, okay? I was shocked at what a lot of these artists are putting out there without getting deep into it, but like what Hollywood's kind of doing to us subliminally. So really the idea here is just to listen and watch things that make you genuinely feel good, that make you feel happy. And as we're talking about consuming things, I do want to talk about food, drinks, alcohol, that kind of thing. You'll notice that when you're going through a spiritual awakening, your senses will heighten. That was the first thing I noticed when I started going through mine a few years ago. Your hearing increases, even sometimes your smell and your sight. Like I think it's different for everyone, but for me it was really like my hearing. And because of that and on top of that, your physical body starts to actually feel lighter. Like you don't feel as heavy. But the thing is, is when we're consuming a lot of these highly processed foods, drinks, alcohol, it actually dulls those things down. It, it makes you feel heavier. It makes you feel more sluggish and it just makes you feel more dense and disconnected. You know, you'll notice that alcohol quite literally numbs you. I mean, that's kind of the point of it, right? So like it numbs your senses, it dulls you down. Alcohol is one of the biggest things that will keep you stuck in the 3D and keep you from connecting to your higher self and to source. Like if there's one thing for you to cut out when that you're eating or drinking, it is alcohol. I mean, think about it aside from actually just consuming it and what it does when you're intoxicated, but think about the next day, right? When you're not feeling well and you're hungover, all you want is like, a dense greasy food so that's like you know number one on there and on top of that you're not focused on your your light body and you're not focused on feeling good and meditating and, and being creative all you're focused on is feeling better and, and feeling back to normal essentially right like you'll spend a whole day in bed I've sure been there <laughs> way too many times to count you know you have a headache or you're puking or whatever it might be and all you want to do is feel normal again where if you didn't drink you would automatically be feeling lighter and more connected to yourself and more connected to God. You know, I truly believe that one of the best ways to tap into that creativeness, that to connect with your soul is to feed it nourishing foods and water, fruits, vegetables, seeds, nuts, all those things. Experiment with it, even just for like a few weeks and just see the difference that you're gonna feel. So next I wanna talk about, you know, this one was and continues to be kind of difficult for me, but it's, it's not having someone to talk to 
about all of the spiritual stuff, about all the things that's going on in your life, about all the things you're researching and learning about, all the changes that are happening, not only internally, but externally, like in your body and in your life. Because at least in my experience, when you're going through a spiritual awakening, and it's been a few years for me now, and this hasn't changed in the sense that like, it's all I wanna talk about, it's all I wanna research about, it's all, that I really care about anymore. And so to not have someone to talk to about those things can make you feel very lost and very lonely because it's like you sit there and you're like, why isn't everyone talking about this? Like, why are we talking about things that don't matter? Like, why are we just so concerned about all this dumb shit that happens in life and not talking about the expansiveness and the beautiful like life that we're living? Why aren't we talking about consciousness more? And it can be really frustrating if you don't have an outlet and you don't have someone to talk to about that kind of stuff. You know, because the sad truth is like the majority of people just aren't going through a spiritual awakening. And as I've said before, it doesn't make, you know, those of us that are going through one any better than anyone else, but it does make it more difficult to connect to those who aren't going through one. And so if you don't have someone in your immediate life that you can talk to about this kind of stuff, you know, maybe join some Facebook groups or connect with people, you know, on YouTube, maybe you'll see someone here in the comments on my channel or another channel or me or whoever, but try to find at least one person. That's all you need. I mean, the more the merrier, right? But if you can just find one person that you can really sit down and, and talk to about all this kind of stuff, it will allow you not only to feel more connected, it will expand your own experience. And on top of that, I would also recommend really keeping a journal. I never journaled before going through my spiritual awakening. And it was funny, like the day I started my awakening, I just like knew, like I had an intuitive, like knowing that I had to get a journal and I had to document all of this stuff that I'm going through and that I'm feeling. And I'm so grateful now, like years later and like five or six journals later, now that I did that I can go back and see like, what was I researching then? What was I looking at then? wow, it's insane how much I've changed over the last few years. So, um, you know, find someone to talk to that, you, that can relate to you about this and also make sure that you are documenting your own journey because it'll be really special to you in the long run. And the last thing here I really wanna talk about, which I think is the most important part of this, is to make sure that you're not denying yourself in this experience. You know, a, a spiritual awakening is very fluid. Everyone goes through so many different phases throughout a spiritual awakening, which I honestly believe once you start going through an awakening, it never stops. I think it's more of a, a lifelong journey because if you're going through one, you kind of know what I'm talking about where it's like, you can't just like turn it off. Like once you're going through it, like, you're there. <laughs> whether you like it or not, whether you're in a positive part of your awakening or in a, a dark night of the soul phase in your awakening, like you can't stop it. So I truly think the best thing that you can do for yourself is to allow yourself to ebb and flow and go through all the different stages and changes and experiment with different things that you're finding, that you're researching. You know, sometimes we can, we can read or hear about something and it piques our interest, right? But like, it seems kind of abnormal. We think that other people might think we're weird and a lot of times they do. <laughs> a lot of people in my life think I'm super strange, but um, you know, I've come to the point where like, I just don't really care because it doesn't affect them, right? Like what I'm doing and what I'm experimenting with doesn't affect them. An example of this would be, um, oh man, this was probably like two and a half years ago. I read up on this thing called an egg cleanse and it was some type of way to figure out what type of energy you, you currently have in your body. And so I did it and <laughs> it was super silly, but a lot of other people really enjoyed doing it. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna try it. And you know, it didn't really do anything for me, but you know, I wouldn't have known that without trying it. And you know, on the flip side, when I started going through my spiritual awakening, I wasn't very in tune with my Christianity. Um, it wasn't something that I was very focused on at all. And now, years later, it's the biggest part of my spirituality. And that's because I didn't push it away when it started coming towards me. So it's really just allowing things, like I said, to ebb and to flow and to, to experiment and to not deny yourself to try different things, you know? Like if you wanna sit there and work on manipulating smoke with your mind, then do it. If you wanna go outside 
and see if you can talk to a tree and have it touch your shoulder, then do it. If you wanna sit down and pray, if you've never prayed before, do it, okay? Don't deny yourself this experience because it's so profound and it's so beautiful and you know, it's something that I wish everyone could go through. So just be open-minded and be true to yourself and you'll find your way. Don't allow yourself to keep you stuck in the 3D. Okay, obviously we're always going to have these senses in the, in the three dimensional world that we live in. Allow yourself to experiment and to expand and to try new things. They're not all gonna, you know, stick. They're not all gonna stick for you, but some of them will. And some of them might feel good at one point, you know, like I, I used to listen to a lot of like tarot readings and that's something I don't do anymore. Um, I tried to get into crystals, but it just wasn't really something that, I don't know, like grasped me. But that doesn't mean that it might not for you. You know, like spirituality is very like a la carte is the way that I like to see it. So don't deny yourself, experiment with all types of things and just let it flow. You know, spiritual awakenings can often feel lonely and confusing and you know, I've been there. There's a lot of dark sides to going through an awakening once you go down all these rabbit holes and you start to figure out like what's really going on behind the scenes in our life and it can kind of feel exhausting at times. And if you're feeling that way, I'll leave this video right here, which is my story of my spiritual awakening and so that maybe you can make a few connections there and I'm always here if you want to talk I'm always looking for more spiritual friends I really don't have many people if at this point really anyone in my life that I can share this journey with so it's part of the reason that I have this channel so I can connect with more people you know like me if you want to learn more about spiritual awakenings definitely subscribe and we can hang out again next week I love you guys so much and don't forget be limitlessly yourself mm -hmm.